Hi guys, how are you? Today I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily adjust clothing that are slightly off your size or off your shape um, using a sewing machine. I'm about to show you three items that need adjusting. The techniques are really really simple. You'll see step by step how I go about adjusting them. So this is my sewing machine. It's by the brand Brother. It's a well-known brand in the sewing world. Uh, mine is uh, in the model LX17. Let's start with this dress. So this dress is from Zara and I love everything about it except that it's just slightly too large here in the waist. I'm gonna take it off now and pull it inside out and put it on again. The dress is now inside out and I'm just grabbing the material in the thinnest point of the waist. It doesn't have to be super precise because the dress is made of a stretchable material. Roughly that much and uh, when pulled to the back that will be just right. I mark this point with a pencil. You need to grab it on both sides in order to mark it, but you can actually mark it only on one side because then you can replicate the uh, measurement from one side to the other. And now I'm taking it at the starting point of the adjustment area. And I do this the same here in the lower part. I'm now gonna take the dress off, lay it flat on the floor and copy the measurements from one side to another. And you can do it with measuring tape. I quite like using just a pencil and mark it on the pencil how much it is from the edge of the dress and then just um, applying it on the other side. I draw the line with a pencil to connect the dots. I pick the thread in as close color to the dress as possible. And now using the straight line, I'm making a line here along the dots that we marked before. This first line is just to hold it together. So now I'm trying it on, then I'll be able to see how this looks like on the body. This is how it looks like with just that one thread. It's already looking much better, but uh, obviously now you can pick all those little details. For example, here I know I need to make a smoother, longer transition here. But overall, it start to get good shape. Much smoother here on this side now. And here as well. I'm now doing the final stitch over the last stitch. I'll just slightly adjust the bottom bit that I saw sticking out a little bit, but that's minor. Okay, I stitched it now. And now is a final moment because I'm gonna be cutting this extra bit of material off, which means it's final. I can't change it after it. That's your last chance now for any alterations. I'm leaving a little bit of material above the stitch just because we're gonna be securing it so no threads gonna come off. Um, it's like half a centimeter, maybe slightly more to secure this and make sure no threads are coming off. I'm gonna use the zigzag stitch and just go over this to lock it down. So this is the dress number one after alterations. lovely color the only thing is that it's slightly too big here something kind of weird going on here in the uh, under the arms I'm just gonna trim it to fit my arms a little bit better first step is to wear it inside out and mark where I want to make the trims
as the first try on. I think it looks already tighter and neater. There's still things to fix. But overall, I think we are on a good track. dress after alterations can you see it fits so much better nothing hangs here anymore there is a bit here but it can be easily ironed out and make it into a smooth arm overall it fits better challenging because it is a jacket it fits right almost everywhere except just uh, yes it, it has slightly too large waist should be simple enough except that it has this layer underneath that's gonna be a little bit of workaround um, but I'm up for this challenge I first have to cut through the inner layer and the biggest challenge with the jacket will be then to sew it here on the inside you will be able to see the thread a little bit but it doesn't bother me this is not a very expensive jacket it was like 30 pounds on sale but if it was like a really super precious jacket i wouldn't do it so bear in mind this is a little bit more complicated and you kind of do it on your own risk that's what we want this is our zip pocket and this is as much as I can go with the jacket. This is the first fitting. I think I'll go all the way down with the thread here because it left a little bit, but I should probably close it off. That's after second round. I think I still have to work a little bit on this area here. But overall, I'm happy with the fit. If I may say one thing, make sure that this bit here at the bottom is sealed very well, because that's something that holds the whole jacket together. So here's how the jacket looks like now. I think it fits so much better. I know there's a little bit of ruffle here, but this is because I went quite deep into the waist. Um, and when you zip it, actually, you can't see it. But um, if you go for a more straight cut, then uh, this would be straighter. Show you as well uh, this is how it looks like on the inside you can see the thread uh, but it doesn't bother me i don't mind as you can see you can alter pretty much any clothing with sewing machine and i only showed you the basic way to do it there are more advanced ways as well if you have some time you can make your clothes like so professionally made like no one could ever tell they've been tempered with so uh, i highly encourage you to and get yourself a sewing machine and um, upskill in this area if you haven't so already because it's just so so useful um, thanks very much guys for spending this time with me um, I hope you liked the video and I will see you in my other uploads bye bye